So hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make an AI smoothly rotate towards the player. We'll use interpolation to create a more natural movement. We'll also take it a step further by making only the AI's head track the player. This technique is great for enemies, NPCs, or even security cameras that need to track the player in a more realistic way. So I will be showing you two methods and we'll cover both of them in this video. But before that, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe first and give this video a thumbs up. It will be very appreciated. So yeah, let's get started. And if you haven't watched my previous video, which I covers how to um, make a simple AI roaming system, please feel free to watch that first. Otherwise, you should create your own AI first before proceeding. So let's get started. Basically, I have a simple AI character that can roam. I'm using a simple like uh, AI move tool node here using the array of actors. Okay, but make sure you have the character and animation set up. Here, I also separated and duplicated the uh, ABP underscore many, and I created it as ABP underscore AI animation, and we'll be using that in this video. Okay, so first I want to make if the player is nearby, the AI, it will rotate to the player. So the first part will be we will rotate the whole body of the AI towards the player. So we're going to make a superior collision here. Make it a little bit bigger. Maybe 300. I want to disable the hidden in-game so we can see it in-game. So I'm gonna on, on component begin overlap here. I'm gonna check for cast to BP at the score third person character. I will make a new variable. I'll name this is character nearby. I mean is player nearby. Okay, I'm gonna set this to true. Again, I wanna make another one. This time is the on component and overlap also copy paste it but this time i'll set this to sorry set this to false okay let's go on the event tick here i will create a new function i'll call this um rotates body towards player so in here i'm just gonna set the actor rotation very simple uh actually the function will have a uh, one input maybe two input the first input will be the delta time so name it delta time i'll set this to float for type so this one is the target actor maybe this will be type of an actor so you can use it for any type of actor not just your character okay so on the new rotation here i wanna get some fine look at rotation the start is gonna be the this get actor location Make sure it's this one, not the character. Plug this into the start, and for the target, you can copy paste it, and this is gonna be the get actor location from the target actor. Plug this thing into the target, and this one into the new rotation. And for the delta time, why I added this because you want to make a smooth interpolation, so you can use a simple um, f interp. Actually, we have to split the struct pin on both of this because we don't want the a roll and pitch to be also rotated towards the player we were we only want the yo axis which is the z axis so for the x and y we can get another actor rotation we're gonna split the struct pin again and you're gonna plug the x and the y axis into the set at the rotation okay but how to make it smooth smoothly rotated towards the player just have to add an f in there f interrupt 2 okay so the current will be the z axis from the get at the rotation here the target will be the fine look at rotation the z1 delta time is gonna be the delta time here and for the interrupt speed i think you can set this to maybe 10 this is like the speed of the smoothness like the smoothness value okay so you're good to go now we can go back into our event graph gonna call the function and plug this in into the event tick delta time back into the delta second and for the target actor i want to make another variable i will call this target actor and this will be type actor okay and what you're gonna do is just set this 
on uh, onto the on component begin overlap and just plug the character in and for this one just make it null like this okay so it's gonna be like it's gonna dereference the character so the target actor just so plug this in maybe you can right click and convert to fill you to get to make it on more uh, safety and make it on the spirit just like that now we are clicking compile and we can test the game out now when you uh, get near towards the AI it rotates for a split second but I forget it won't rotate anymore look at that's like a weird uh, weird glitching effect and we should fix that Okay, now to fix the glitching issue, like the rotation is glitchy, it's gonna be a very simple fix. You're gonna go to the character movement and search for orient rotation to movement and set this to enabled. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is you click on this self here and you're gonna search for young and you can disable this one. Okay, and now you're good to go. Let's test it out. And as you can see, the, the AI rotates for the player to any issue but i think i'm uh increase the speed a little bit we're gonna make it 25 and also i want to make the ai stop moving so on the beginning of lap here i'm gonna disable the movement very easy and again i'm gonna copy that i'm gonna set the movement mode to be walking if it's an overlap so let's test it out and now when you get near the AI, it will uh, rotate towards you. And then when you leave it, it will start moving again. And now let's head to the next part, which is we're gonna make the head of the AI rotate toward the player. So we can go to AI animation, ABP AI animation. If you don't see this, you can you can just duplicate from the ABP menu here. Okay, on this one, I'm gonna get the player character. And then this is gonna be cast to a BP third person character. And you can get the mesh. Then gonna get the socket location. The socket name will be hat. Or you can I promote this to a variable so you can change it later. But how to look at this is you're gonna go to the ABP underscore mini here, which is the character. I'm gonna go to the skeleton here as Cayman Queen. And you can look for the hat. Search the skeleton tree. Up there, you're gonna see the head. If it's something else, you can just copy that bone name. Copy here. And I'll paste it on the socket name. Okay. In this one, I'm gonna come to the variable. Maybe I'll name this head location. Mm, head position. Okay. Now you can go to the anim graph. And then on here, on the end of the control work here you're gonna make a local to component and on this one on the middle here you can make a look at okay so the on the bone to modify choose the head this is like the head of the ai okay and then you're gonna uh, look at clamp you set this to maybe around 55 and the interpolation time i'm gonna set this to maybe five for now scroll down a bit and you find this look at location gonna click on the bind here and expose it as pin so you're gonna show up here on the screen look at look at rotation so you're gonna plug your head position into that it's very simple now we can maybe test the game out look at that i think i'm gonna disable the rotation the body rotation for now to just check it out it's here Later. All right. Oops, I'm sorry. It should not be in the blueprint initialized animation, but it should be in this blueprint update animation. So do keep that in mind. I'm I'm really sorry, guys. So I'm gonna add a new sequence pin there. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna paste that. Lock this into the dance tree there. So I'm gonna compile that, I'm gonna save that, play that. And now it should, yeah, we got it. 
now the AI head is rotating towards you. Yep, maybe that's it for this video. I have covered two ways how you can create your AI moves towards the player. The first one is the full body and the second one is only the head of the AI. And I hope this video helps you guys. If it does, please give a like and subscribe to my channel. It will be very appreciated. And let me know in the comments if you got any questions or maybe suggestion for the next video. So yeah, maybe that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.